These people are going to kill me. These were the last words uttered by the woman named by Alvina Mami Mukwena, a 55-year-old Vision of God member who was fatally shot by calisthenics during a church service in Foslaras, east of Jobek, during the Easter weekend. So luckily for others, two other congregants were admitted to a hospital. So guys, uh, may the Lord locate whoever who serves him with, uh, you know, passion, who serves with, with a trembling and fear because, wow, I feel like we are no longer safe. Anyways, guys, um, they got a chance to interview um, Mami's friend who goes by the name of Maria Mabi, who was inside the church. So she said that um, she was inside the building where the shooters attacked and she kept having flashbacks of that tragic night. And apparently the woman is in, like she is 74 years old, guys. And, you know, she said Ugutiana, she never seen anything like that as someone who has a heart condition. So guys, you know, for this woman, I feel like maybe... She must see someone because it's gonna take it's gonna take too long you know for someone to get over something so tragic you know especially if that happened uh, to someone you were close to as a friend and that's why i'm saying good to they must try by all means to get her you know to assist her in any possible way so she continued by saying they were holding a church service uh, when the gun wielding men blitzed into the church building and demanded cell phones and money. And my base said during the attack, Mugwena screamed, These people are going to kill me just before the gun went, went off. Uh, she cannot remember how many they were because everything happened so quickly, but they shot her in the head once and she fell to the ground. They wanted phones and money, which they took. And she also said, I don't know why they shot him. You know, guys, one thing that I'm going to say is that everything does happen for a reason. And according to me, I feel like there is a fall place somewhere there and there. Because, like I said, I didn't hear any part when uh, they said to tried to fight, to fight with those bullies or criminals she didn't fight with them you know in many cases like this for a criminal to decide to take your life away has to do with the fact that maybe you tried to fight with them but in this case that old woman didn't even try to fight with the criminals but at the end of the day they shot her in the head what does that tell you what does that mean so anyways guys let me read you um Mugwena's daughter's side of the story so apparently Golisile claimed that um when instructed to go and identify her mother's body she was not acting rationally um she received a phone call from the church priest to come and identify her mother's body and that sight is still stuck in her head and her eyes nothing could have prepared her for that she i mean they shot her mother in the head what wrong had she done asked the emotional olili the same thing that i was telling you guys i'm um, even if i was Silla or i was the daughter to that woman i was gonna ask myself the same question what triggered those animals to take away her life just like that what triggered them that's the question that i'm asking what triggered them you know because it takes a lot to kill an old woman it takes a lot to take to, to kill someone who can't even fight for themselves someone who can't even defend themselves so that's why i'm asking myself Ukuti, what did she do wrong to deserve such a tragedy so anyways guys um Kolisile went on uh, to say that her mother was a devoted follower of God who never missed any church. And apparently they had a fight before she left for church. And she ended up saying she will not go to church. But because she loved church, she ended up going. So guys, the moral of the story is that um, this woman loved church. She was devoted to God. She was devoted to the church that she was attending. But at the end of the day, 
she died in the same church. So, like I'm saying, um, always cherish your loved ones. Always be there for them. Because you never know. Life is too short. We end up losing the people we love. All because of little things. Or things that we don't even understand. Even now, we don't know why it triggered the bulldogs uh, that made them kill an older woman. Like I'm saying, guys, it is a tragedy and no one deserves to live like that. And come on, she was so old. She was so old. At least, at least. But to show her, at the end of the day, it was God's will. There's nothing we can do about it. Anyways, guys, this is from me. They chat with Dolphin. Anyways, engage on me. Engage on the comments section and tell me what you think about this whole story. Because I'm like I'm motivated to hear um the, the other side of the stories that I don't know. What could have triggered the bulldogs that led them killing um an older woman who can't defend herself? I mean, come on. Anyways, guys, this is from me. They chat with Dolphin. Thank you.